Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is for August 7th, 2020 and the title for this reading is No Contact, Will They Reach Out? Is It Over? Uh, that being said, this reading here is a general reading, so it is not going to apply to everybody. So please do take what feels good with you. Please do take what is um, what resonates with you, and the rest of it, just leave it aside. If you don't feel like it fits with your story, that it resonates with you, then most likely it is not meant for you. That being said, if ever you would like to have a personal reading, a reading that is filled with your energy, your questions, your answers, please do contact me at Romance tarot at gmail.com and it'll be my great pleasure to send you the information with the different type of readings that I can offer you so you can receive that guidance and so you can get those answers that you wish to have. Um, one little thing here before we do begin, uh, I would like to mention that um, if you do enjoy my channel, and you do enjoy my videos, please do show your support by subscribing and, and, and that's it, by subscribing to the channel. Uh, you show your support, you show your encouragement, and it really means the world to me. So please do subscribe and, um, and let's begin this reading. I have not told you yet, but this is for the sign of Aries. So um, let's just turn these cards over and see what kind of information we have for you. So, um, I'm using the Alice in Wonderland tarot, and I also have the uh, Golden Reverie for uh, another backup card here. So let's just turn these over and see what's going on. Are they going to be coming back or not? Are they going to reach out? So I have the Page of Wands, the Three of Cups, I have the Seven of Swords, I have the Hanged Man, I have a Mountain, I have a Snake, I have a Bear, and I have Time. So what does all this mean to you? In this whole relationship here, correct me if I'm wrong, but this of course is a general, but I think for a lot of you, the reason why this relationship um, went sour is because there was some infidelity, there was lying, there was some uh, sneakiness, there was some um, double-faced a little bit going on here. I have the card here that is indicating me that there is, uh, that there was uh, some cheating going on. And so I believe this is one of the reasons why the um, relationship has ended right now, why there was no contact. And um, I do believe that the person, the partner here uh, involved who uh, was cheating, I do believe that this partner was a younger person, okay? I do believe that you did get the message. I do believe that you did not get it by your partner, which created a bigger conflict. Um, I do see that they are a younger, I'm not meaning younger in age, I'm meaning younger emotionally. I don't think they were ready for this relationship to begin with. I see, you know, that they're I see that there's a lot of, sh you have a lot of strength, okay, I see that, I see that, you know, uh, a lot of time, a, a fair amount of time has gone by since uh, you broke up, since you broke up and they have not reached out yet, which is why you're wondering and you're starting to be a little bit anxious about this whole situation. I know that there are an awful lot of, of challenges to, um, to surmount if ever you guys do get back together and to be quite frankly, I do not see that um, these challenges are um, I don't think that the other partner wants to surmount these challenges right now. I see as the other partner being um, being free, if you want. I see them as running away. I see them as um, running away from the situation altogether. I do not believe, unfortunately, that they are going to contact you. I be do believe they are like a thief in the night. Um, they they left. And that is it. This is going to be the ending. And they left with, well, not only they left, but they left with a part of you. They left with a part of your emotions, your souls, your yourself. And this is very, very painful for you. And I know it is, but this is what the cards are showing me. Um, partner has left. They don't seem to be coming back. They seem to actually be having a good time at the moment. They seem to be uh, changing things up, switching things up. They seem to be going to gatherings. They're quite comfortable. They really have no problem whatsoever. And I feel like the main reason why they do not want to come back with you is because they do not want to surmount the obstacles. They do not want to go back to these challenges and 
and going up a lot of these hills, especially if there was some cheating going on and there was some um, some lying and some sneakiness. That's a really big mountain to climb up to get that trust back again. And I think they know that and they don't really want to go through all of that again. So um, this is one of the reasons why they are not going to be coming back. That being said, you're very strong. Uh, somebody who represents this card here, okay, the seven, the snake, does not belong to you, does not, you don't deserve to have somebody like this, you deserve to have somebody who is much, much better, so I do hope for you that you will continue on to your journey, heal from this, and um, and get a partner that is more suitable, that will love you for who you are, um, so this being said, um, the answer is there, no, they're not going to contact you, and um, no, this relate. well, yes, this relationship is unfortunately over. Uh, if you do have any questions and you would like to have um, some clarity, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. I wish you much, much courage and many blessings, and we'll be seeing each other very soon. Have a nice day. What's my reading tomorrow night? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What is my reading tomorrow night? Do they love me or just pretend that is it? <laughs>